everyone, this is Norma. Today's video is going to be on how to use a stamp -a jig whether you're using clear mount stamps or block, uh, wood mount blocks, or photopolymer stamps. So um, that's what I'm going to show you how to use this uh, stamp -a jig And I think it's a, an essential tool to have in your um, craft essential items. And so yeah, so let's get started on how to use this. When you get your stamp -a jig you're gonna get this T-block, what um, I'm gonna call it. I'm not sure if it's called that, but it's it looks like a T. And then you're gonna get this clear plastic. Um, and you're gonna get instru instructions, of course, but again, I don't have mine because mine's old and I've had it for a while, but you will get it. And now the clear comes with um, uh, more of a textured side. Um, I hope you can see that on the video. And then the other side is more of a clear side. Now the clear side is to stamp your, to use your uh, water base inks. And then the texture side is for your pigment inks. So um, that's how you would use that. Um, I typically use the texture side for all of them just because that's what I like to do. You can use your stamp -a jig whether you're uh, right-handed or left-handed. So um, you, and you can use it this way or you can use it this way, whichever uh, way is easier for you. So if you were left-handed, you would use it this way, right? I'm going to go ahead and use Memento ink for this video. And so to begin, you want to make sure that you're going to, your plastic square meets the T, which is right in this corner. So you're going to make sure it meets there. And I'm going to go ahead and ink up. Let's start with our little owl so I can show you that. So I'm going to use the little owl, which is from the So Very Happy stamp set. And it's a clear mount stamp. And so basically you want to meet this corner with the corner and you just want to press all the way down and then there's your image. So if you wanted to stamp it, let's say I'm using a scratch piece of paper here. So let's say I want to stamp it right there in the middle. Now you could use some adhesive, temporary adhesive or a little bit of adhesive to um, stick your, your actual... Uh, piece of layer or whatever you're going to be stamping on just to keep it in place. And so what you're going to want to do is take your plastic um, a sheet that you stamped your image on and wherever you want it to, uh, to stamp, that's where you're going to place it. So let's say I want it right there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my T this way where it meets here and then remove that. You want to keep a grip on this so this doesn't move because if this moves then your image is not going to be where you want it to go. And so I've inked up my image and then so I'm going to make sure that this corner meets with my T corner and you're just going to stamp all the way down. Okay, so there's your image. So next I want it to have a balloon. I want to stamp a balloon in, and the balloon's coming from this sketched birthday stamp and I'm going to use this balloon right here. So again I'm going to use my my clear here and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. I'm going to ink up my image first and so I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. I'm stamping it on the clear plastic and so there's my balloon and so now I can take my clear plastic and place it where I want it to be. Let's say I want it to um, look like the cute little owl is holding that balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and place it there. Let's say I want it there. So you want to make sure your T is right at the edge of that plastic. Okay. So then what you want to do is remove this. So you make sure it's um, corner to corner, right? And then once you remove it, you want to hold on to that so it's not it doesn't move. Otherwise, your stamped image is not going to be exactly where you want it to go. Okay, so then you stamp down, and there you go. Your cute little owl looks like it's holding its balloon and it's in perfect position um, on his little wings. So that's what the stamp -a jig does. It's an important tool to make sure that your placement is is in the right place. It's great for sentiments. It's great to stamp any images. Um, Two-step two stamping also. Left-handed. Okay, so there's that. I'll meet corner to corner. 
stamp and there's your there's your image so let's say I want it to start right there I'm gonna go ahead and place my T corner to corner okay right there then corner to corner stamp down and there you go and let's say you want to continue there we go make sure you ink it up and meet corner to corner and stamp and there you go there's your continuous border right there